In this video, we are going to be learning how to recover permanently deleted files with Kali Linux. Now I have a USB connected to my Kali Linux. I'm using the USB drive for demonstration purpose only. The process of recovering files is similar for any other external hard drive or memory card. So let's get started. I will first open my USB drive. I can see that there is a MP4 video file. There is a PNG picture. There is a .jpg picture. There is a .exe file. There is a book .pdf and there is also a folder. I will first delete all those files and move to trash. Then I will go to trash and delete the files from here too. Now the file has been removed from our system. Let's see how we can recover these files. The first step we are going to do is log out from our machine and log in as the root user. After you're logged in as the root user, open your terminal and now we have to install a tool called foremost with the foremost tool we can recover the deleted files so type the command apt install foremost and press enter after the tool has been installed we can check the help menu by typing the command foremost space dash h and press enter these are all the switches you can use with the command foremost so let's see how we can recover our deleted files i will type the command foremost space dash t here t is for the type of files which type of files that you want to recover so specify the extension of the file types like jpg comma pdf comma mp4 comma exe but if you want to recover the files of the whole usb regardless of the file type just say all this is a shortcut then give one space and then type dash v v is for verbose space dash q Q is for quick mode, it will quickly scan the device, space, dash i, i is for input, here we have to specify the path of the USB, we can do that by clicking file here and then click on new tab and type fdisk space dash l and press enter, here dev sdb1 is the path to my USB drive, if you are not sure what is the path to your USB drive, unplug your USB and type fdisk space dash l again, I can see the sdb1 does not exist it means that sdb1 was the path to our usb drive so i will connect the usb drive again and give the command fdisk space dash l again and copy the path to the device give one space and paste the path to the usb drive give one space and type dash o space the path where you want your recover files to appear i want the files to appear at my desktop so i will type the command forward slash root forward slash desktop forward slash give a name to a directory you want the files to reappear on i will call it recovered files and then press enter now the recovery process has started wait for the recovery to get completed and our recovery has now been completed i will quit the terminal and i can see there is a directory in my desktop called recovered files and if i go inside this directory i can see many directory with different types of file extension go to the directory that matches your file extension I know that I had a PDF book, so if I go to the PDF directory, I can see my book has been recovered. If I go into the PNG directory, my PNG image has been recovered, same for .exe. And if I go to a random directory like the docx, I can see nothing is there. This mini directory has been created because we have specified the all command here. If you just specified the file types that you wanted to recover, only the file type directory would have been created. So that is how you recover deleted files on Kali Linux. That is for the end of the video. If you want to watch more Kali Linux content, please subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much for watching.